and uh, of course, everyone knows that it has six strings, and those are the, those are the ones that make the noise, right? They're the ones that make the sound. Uh, but the Spanish came singing their music, and they were singing to to um, what we consider to be uh, indigenous people. Okay, that means that they were rooted in Mexico. They were mainly from the mountains and very Indian-like. So they decided that they wanted to make their own music. So they made instruments very, very similar to these, which is that big guitar that we talked about uh, earlier, which is a guitarron. It's like a bass fiddle in, 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 in layman's terms. And then of course there's the, uh, the vihuela that Mr. Garcia brought uh, to over a few days. Uh, you know, when did he come last semester? Yeah, that, that, last week he came. Oh, last week. Okay. Yeah. So, so those are those those are two of the instruments that that mariachis use now. Of course, through the years, everything changed, and they also started using violins. And I believe you have a violin presentation a little later on today. Mm -hmm. And then, right. of course, the trumpets were added because they wanted to to attract more. Yes, attract more attention. <laughs> and and uh, so, so that's why in the mariachi now you see uh, guitars, vihuela, guitarron, trumpets, and violins, and then of course Gustavo singing, right? Yes. This is just a strap, it's just so I can hold it. Yeah, so that I so that I won't have to hold it real tight because it's it's the guitar was intended to be played while you are sitting down. That's how these Spaniards designed it. That's why it has this here, this where you would put your knee and you sit and you can play. Okay? But uh, mariachis, if you've ever been to a wedding and you see the mariachis, they come in, they play and they usually stand, right? You never see a mariachi sitting down. So that's why they invented the little straps to hold the instruments. Okay? Anybody have any other uh, uh, questions about the instrument? So what is this called? What is this instrument? Guitar. Guitar. How many strings does it have? Six. Six. And each one of them has a little tuning peg, and you can change, change the the the, the note. So you can actually change those. Yes, ma'am. When I was counting them, I only saw was four. Oh my goodness! Oh, there's six. How many? There's one, there's one here, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay, so, um, sorry about that. Uh, so now, now that uh, you know about the guitar, and of course there's specific tuning, every note, every, every string has a different note attached to it or tuned to a different note and when you put your fingers on the fingerboard it changes those pitches like this is the lowest one see how it changes it every so when you put your fingers down you learn to change notes. Okay, it changes the same the sound of the notes. And there's a lot of different ways. To play the guitar. Okay? If you indulge me for a minute, I'm gonna tune this guitar just a little out of tune. Yes, you have a question? <laughs> have to. One changes the notes and the other one strums it. 
Okay. Which one? The pick. You can use a pick. I don't think I brought a pick with me. The picks were were intended for. Well, in mariachis, they didn't have those. In Mexico, they didn't they didn't exist. So everybody used their bare nails. Yeah. Well, there is a real nice story about Mariachi Vargas, and they, and the, at first, yes, they do hurt, but you, you, your fingers get used to it. Look at, look at this finger, how it's black. See, I have a black spot on my finger. That's just from all the strumming. Okay, and and you just get used to it. Everything else, right? You have to practice. How did you learn your vowels? By practicing them, right? Say, there's no secret. You want to be the best at whatever you do, you have to practice. Because practice makes perfect. Exactly. And that's the best man I've seen in the world. Yes. Because he didn't just, he would go out there and sing by himself, right? Sing to himself. And then all of a sudden, by the time they heard it, they were like, oh my goodness, this is like a wonderful singer. But he had already been doing that for himself. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Garcia brought some uh, instruments and we were, to, we were playing them. Oh, I yeah. I used to buy it in. Uh -huh. uh, the guitar, the guitar, and the trumpet. So you had a little petting zoo, a mariachi instrument petting zoo. That's awesome. <laughs> and then Ms. Garcia asked us to do homework so we could Oh, all of you, you made a guitar. Wow, there's some real nice ones. That is so awesome. That's beautiful. Congratulations. That's so awesome that you picked it. Yes, sir. Sometimes when you think it's stuck, there's where you're Oh, yeah. Well, your spirits are going to get stuck if you, but see, that's when you learn to play these instruments, there are a lot of things that, that go into, into learning them. One of the most important things to learn is the fundamentals, right? When you learn to walk, you have to crawl first, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and you have to crawl. And during the crawling, you would, would stumble. And then you stood up and you would still stumble and you kind of walk slow and, you, and then and you just practice, practice and it got better. But then when you wanted to run, they had to teach you how to use just the front part of your feet and if you ever you gotta be a sprinter, they use more uh, more techniques, and that's what it is, technique. How do you learn not to put your fingers in here? You learn the right technique. And the right technique is to use the wrist, not the hand. Because if you use a hand, that's why your fingers get stuck in there. But if you just use the wrist and you learn to brush the brush the strings. You brush the strings, <clears throat> you're not gonna get your fingers caught. Okay? And over here too, if you learn incorrectly and you try to you try to play some notes, and, and, and all of a sudden your, your your fingers are in the wrong place, and then I put them right, you can hear the chord, right? But if I if I don't have my fingers right, it kind of sounds like weird. And then you put them right. Okay, so all of those things you're gonna be taught. Okay and you practice over and over, like how to go change, 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 change. I use my um, cousin's guitar, and when I try to play fast, all I hear is like, well, why that, did that happen? That's pretty fast then. Because I'm like, because I was doing what you were doing, but I was doing like this. Well, it's probably, like I said, like you probably were, were brushing the strings really, really fast. Okay? All right, so, um, 
when we start, you know, when we start something, when we start singing, there's also a lot that goes into it. <coughs> People that sing naturally, well, they're just naturals at it. But even the best singers have to practice. And they have to always want to learn more about what they're singing and how they're singing and how to breathe because you don't want to sing songs like, um, what's one of your favorite songs? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Let's do happy birthday. And you, you don't want to sing like this. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. Happy birthday to you. No, right? You have to. You have to learn how to sing. Just the way you learn how to say sentences. When you read something, the first time you read it, right, is probably "Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to D D H R Elementary." And then you learn it and you practice. So, "Good morning, boys and girls." Welcome to DDHR Elementary, right? And when you all speak, the next group to perform today is the sixth grade dance team, right? You don't do it anymore like that, right? Because you, you learn to read it and flow. It's the same with singing. So we don't sing. Esta sur las mañanas que cantaba el rey. No, we learn the pattern and you learn how to breathe and how to finish your sentences without clipping it. So, alright, I'm going to sing a song, and I'm, I chose this song because I figured you all can help me sing the middle part of it, okay?